I was born in LA and moved back here in 2002. And my studio is over here. Ta da! <laughs> I wanted to make art that was inserted into our lives, that was, that was about living, that was about everything that we are as human beings and what it, takes, what it means to be human and what it makes us comfortable to be humans. Art is something that makes you Think of something that you don't normally think about something in a way that you normally would think about it and Really good decorative arts can do the same thing and they do something different They make you maybe act in a different way or, or sit in a different way or something normally a quilt is three layers It's the top the bottom and the middle and it's the sewing of those three layers that makes it one and makes it a quilt this is just the patchwork, actually, so it's not been quilted yet. But the back side of this is so beautiful that I'm going to quilt it with something transparent so that people can actually see it. I sewed this piece in actually 2010. It's been hanging out, and now I have a venue. I'm just... Uh, in the past week, like, have, I'm, I'm assembling it into the next phase of quilting it. It took me probably three or four months to sew the patchwork. I'm in uncharted territory. I really don't know with this one what the effect is going to be. And I think what the uh, critical content of it's going to be. I hope that it speaks to people. The other piece that will be in the show, and there's very little of it here, I'm gearing up to make it. There's gonna be a soft quilt and a hard quilt. I have these quilts that my mother made and they, if you use them, they fall apart. So I thought, well gee, what else could you make a quilt out of? Well, what if you made a stone one? What if you made a concrete one? Oh yeah, that's how a guy would make a quilt. This is all the porcelain that goes, in, that gets inlaid into it. So here's my West Hollywood one. <laughs> Boys leaning against the wall. <laughs> and gingham fabric. <laughs> like I made these a few years ago but to cast four tons of concrete, I felt like I had to have a venue. It's Hawaiian fabric, but it's, it's Mickey Mouse, Disneyland. It's like the highlights, find the hidden pictures. It's a Hawaiian style Hollywood sampler concrete quilt. This is Hawaiian style quilting. So it's usually two colors. It's always a snowflake. It's always breadfruit or pineapples or uh, something Hawaiian. This, this is, goes back a couple hundred years in Hawaii, them making these kind of quilts. The Hawaiian style Hollywood sampler concrete quilt. <laughs> it's so silly. Will be like the exact same size as this, like nine feet by 10 feet. So it'll sort of mirror one another. You know, you never know where ideas come from. And they come from anywhere, at any moment, and you just look out for them, you know? The good ones linger, the good ones last, you know? Part of making art is breaking rules, and quilting is also about breaking rules. That's it, da-da. <laughs>